No, Grandpa. I am hiding from Brother Harry Gibson. No, Grandma. It's just that he is always trying to get me to do something I can't do. Oh, you know, he is always trying to get me to give a Bible lesson, or lead a prayer, or read a scripture in front of the whole church. I have a whole list of reasons. I'm too young, I'm not tall enough to reach the microphone, and some people don't like red-headed creatures. All I hear there is a list of excuses. One, it's never too early to start serving the Lord. You can stand on a stool to reach the microphone, and red hair is a gift from God. Oh, Grandma, you know the real reason is that I'm just afraid to stand up and speak in front of a crowd of people. I know, but many great men of God have made that same excuse, and God helped them overcome that fear. Really? Who? Well, Moses made that excuse. God told him to go to Pharaoh and ask the Israelites to Did he have red hair? Well, I don't know about that. But he did say he wasn't a good speaker, and nobody knew. Hey, that's how I feel too. What happened next? Well, God started making a deal with Moses. He offered Moses his brother as a helper to his brother. Hey, that's a great duo in the Bible. Moses could lead and Aaron could speak. Well, that just means that God has big plans for you, Jasper. Because you know what he was able to do with Moses. As Moses grew as a leader, he also became a better speaker than God. Wow! Moses went on to become one of God's greatest leaders. But, Grandma, really, I know Moses. Grandson, you are putting leaders on God. Hey. God is for you. You can be against me. You don't have to be Moses, but God has a plan for Jasper, too. Okay, Grandma. I guess reading the scripture is easier than confronting Pharaoh. I don't know.